Greetings, this is August 30th at 10 a.m. and yesterday's winds have caused expansion in the fire to the north and northeast flanks. As you can see by this overview of the Elephant Hill wildfire, there is a lot of red, new infrared hotspots. Uh, let's go first to Hyheum and you can see an extension around the eastern side of the lake spreading northwards about two kilometers. We're looking at spots uh, about three kilometers south of Loon Lake and another group approximately two kilometers east of the lake. I'm not seeing any expansion around Barricade Creek or uh, Battle Creek, but I am seeing a few new hot spots in that area. Let's move a little bit further north. Uh, Vedette, you don't have any new hot spots in your area, but Young Lake definitely has uh, a group south of the lake and uh, several that are now north of the lake and in that valley. Also up on the plateau, I'm seeing another group of four uh, towards Pressy Lake. In the area between Hutchinson Lake and Tin Cup Mountain, I'm seeing approximately 15 new infrared hot spots. And southeast of Pressy Lake, approximately two to three kilometers, I'm seeing another group of 10 to 12 new infrared hot spots. The top of Mount Jim and around the lake is showing extensive new infrared, uh, perhaps 50, 60 hotspots indicated in a large grouping. And then moving further northeast, uh, it's gone over Little Green Lake, it's gone over Lake of the Woods, and it has come within uh, 4 to 5 kilometers of Highway 24, approximately 5 kilometers from the western shore of Sheridan Lake. Uh, approximately three kilometers east of Watch Lake and uh, we're looking at nine kilometers from Horse Lake. So there has been approximately seven kilometers of movement northwards from its former position uh, near Little Green Lake Road yesterday. So those winds have caused havoc. Um, from what I understand, there's a mix of forested trees in there, deciduous hardwood and uh, softwood pine and fir. Let's switch to the MODIS system uh, displaying infrared from 915 PST this morning. And much similar story uh, showing the same areas of concentration north of Young Lake, uh, north of Hutchinson Lake, on top of Mount Jim, north of the North Bonaparte Road, and all around Little Green Lake, uh, just coming up to the eastern shores of Watch Lake, and making a move within four to five kilometers of Highway 24 to the north. Let's look at the wind. It's still coming from 7 kilometers an hour from primarily the south. That's going to vary from the southwest or the southeast depending on your position as this arc of air slopes from the coast and moves upwards. Looking at the Sheridan Cam, I'm seeing a lot of haze in the distance. Uh, the sky looks quite orange. If we shift over to the Begby Cam, I'm seeing a lot of high overcast, but no haze in the distance on the right-hand portion of your screen towards 100 Mile House. So those winds are keeping the smoke uh, on the eastern side of Highway 97. So the Elephant Hill fire has moved northeastwards. It's now approximately five kilometers from Highway 24, five kilometers from Sheridan Lake, and uh, within a kilometer perhaps of Watch Lake. Verify your position, know your escape routes, have all your resources planned, and please check the official bulletins in the regional links below to know where uh, evacuation orders and alerts are going to be. Uh, the wind is with us uh, for a little bit, so you want to have 